were homeless. We lived in empty houses. You know, we put our food, literally, I remember putting our food, milk, eggs, cheese in the snow. That was our refrigerator. Brittany Shirell, along with her twin sister and two other siblings, went into foster care when she was 10 years old, carrying everything she owned in a trash bag. I remember a foster parent being able to pick up the phone and say that I can't be here anymore. I remember feeling lonely. I remember being angry and 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 cutting my wrists and remember wanting to die. Brittany lived in seven foster homes and one group home. When she aged out, she followed a childhood dream to move from Michigan to Atlanta. I came here with literally a suitcase and dreams of living here. But that suitcase yeah. carried so much more than a few clothes. In my suitcase, I carried neglect. I carried abandonment, rape. I carried so much in my suitcase. And the older I got, I realized it was really dragging me. It's a struggle so many foster kids face. Only half of foster kids finish high school and just 3% earn a college degree. Up to 36% spend time in jail. 20 to 40% experience homelessness. By age 24, only half are employed. I had to steal, you know, I was five or six years old going to the corner store, pushing my younger brother in the stroller and putting, you know, all types of milk and cereal, just things that we could eat that I could make as a five or six year old myself. Shaylin Dixon's experience in foster care led her to Brittany and a suitcase and a dream. A nonprofit created by Brittany that helps connect former foster kids with resources and provides them with their own suitcase full of the essentials. It was inspired by her book that she hopes will motivate other foster kids to unpack the trauma of their past and write down their own future. The suitcase is really just a beacon of hope for them as they go through that journey from foster to prosper. Now, in my suitcase is, is healing, peace, comfort, a sense of feeling safe. Those are things that we put in our suitcases when we learn how to unpack. I'm Leslie Hudson reporting.